what's up you guys assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new welcome to another video if you're new here my name is shamsa uh, today's video is going to be a little different from the usual videos that i make uh, i'm going to be showing you guys around my house um i did a house tour before we moved into this house but this one is going to be a little different uh this house that i live in it's a uh, housing choice voucher house it's a voucher house which means it's a section 8 house it's a federally um funded um program that they offer to low-income families they when you get this housing it, it takes a long process to get these type of housings but anyways when you get the voucher they give you a voucher and when you get the voucher you get to decide if you want to live in an apartment or a house alhamdulillah we chose to live in a house and the the area that we live in mashallah it's a really a uh, good neighborhood the schools are good we have great neighbors um this is our first year like our first time living in a section 8 housing um uh, before we did lived in a low income housings but those were not the same as the one that we live in now it's a little different anyways i'm going to show you guys around if you would like to know more about these type of housings i would be glad to make a video so please let me know in the comment section and also be sure to give the video a thumbs up so this is the entrance to my house when you first come in i love this little um area i love the tiles the first room that you will see is my son's bedroom this room gets a little cold um, compared to the other rooms, but this is my son's bedroom slash game central slash where I edit my videos. Uh, it does have a bathroom. It has a bathroom. I didn't put up the shower curtain thingy over here because I don't want anyone using this um, bathroom. We have a... Um, we have two other bathrooms and I don't want to have to deal with cleaning like three bathrooms. So I just, he just, just uses, he just uses just to like, you know, do his little business, but no shower. It has a toilet, the tub, everything. And it's all clean. This is our little uh, living room. It's way better than the one that we used to have. I really love it. And slash our dining area over there. It's like, oh, I think they call it open concept. I'm not really sure, but yeah. But this is our living area. We have a fireplace. And that's my baby playing over there. Uh, we have our little dining area there. And this is the view to the kitchen. So they have these double doors over here. So you can close when you, um, like, for example, my baby, if she were to come inside and stuff. So we just close it whenever we're cooking. So that way she does not come inside. I really love these doors, the idea of these doors being here. Because with kids, especially with a toddler, it's really hard to control them. So this is my kitchen. You guys have probably seen it a lot um, whenever I'm doing cleaning videos. But this is my kitchen. I love the sink. I really, really love this sink. They have a dishwasher for us. Uh, it's new. I love this dishwasher. Like it gets the dishes cleaned, like sparkling clean compared to my other old dishwasher that I used to have. It comes with the stove and the... Um, what is it um the microwave and then over here we have the uh refrigerator the refrigerator we had to buy it ourselves like before we moved into this house they did had a refrigerator but the the section eight people told the owner of this house to get rid of the refrigerator that i had in here because that refrigerator had a problem according to them but when we were viewing the house uh there was they seemed to be nothing wrong with that refrigerator so i had i don't know why they took it out but their um their so-called excuse 
was that the housing people said there was something wrong with the refrigerator. And they told us that at the very last moment when we signed the contract and everything, they were like, oh, guess what? You guys don't have a refrigerator anymore. We had to take it out. So we bought our own refrigerator. We bought it from Home Depot and it's all paid off, alhamdulillah. So whenever we move out of this house, this refrigerator comes with us. We have a pantry over here. This is our pantry. We need to restock. Um, I was supposed to go to the store today, but it's cold out there, so I just skipped on it. But Alhamdulillah, we have something to eat. So this is our pantry. And I think this is like supposed to be the breakfast nook area, but I'm not really sure. But anyways, I, I don't put anything here. I like the space. My other house, the one that I used to live in, my other house, the one that we used to live in, it was an apartment and my God, it was small. I think it was like 12,000 square feet. It was four bedroom with two bathrooms and they did a renovation like before we moved out, like they did a renovation like a year before we moved out and oh my god that they just made it much smaller so imagine seven people living in that small place we had to utilize it but alhamdulillah now my kids have much more freedom so if you go out this door it's gonna lead you to our backyard i love 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 this area it's cold outside today but if you go out here gonna lead you to our backyard oh my god i stepped on something but this is our backyard my kids love coming out here and playing in the summer right now it's winter and it's really cold so nobody plays out here but the, just that freedom guys the reason we chose to live in a house is because of the freedom of having our own backyard and not being worried about our kids playing in the street so we chose the house compared to an apartment because we have much more freedom our kids can run around i don't have to worry about them being in the street or you know like cars honking or them hitting We're somebody's window this is where our other rooms are located but first off i'm gonna show you guys this place over here this is our uh where our washer and dryer are located in alhamdulillah i love i am blessed guys i am blessed to have a washer and dryer uh the people that own this house they let me use their washer and dryer i don't have to go outside to wash my clothes i can do it from the comfort of my home alhamdulillah it's a blessing and they both work perfectly fine and here if i open this door this back door is gonna lead you to our garage this is a two-car garage uh, my husband <laughs> parked his car here last night because it was freezing outside but anyways this is a two-car garage uh we only um uh parked one car inside because of all the mess we have here but this is another blessing too uh, this is our master bedroom mashallah it has a lot more space compared to my uh previous place that i used to live in i love the space in here i can actually fit my king size bed in here my other apartment it didn't ha it had it barely had enough space for my um for my things but this one mashallah we have enough space over here is our master bathroom it comes with this tub over here i love this little area this is where i do all my relaxation just take a bath and just soak in there this is our beautiful um what is it called vanity area and then over here we have our walk-in shower which i love love and then uh, one thing I don't like about this house is the um, the closet being inside the bathroom. But hey, <laughs> it's a blessing. It's another blessing. At least I have space to put my stuff. Um, it's a walk-in closet. 
it's a mess but anyways i am blessed to have that now this is our hallway bathroom this is the one that the second bathroom we used the first one was the master bathroom and this is the kids bathroom i don't let them use the other bathroom but this is our hallway bathroom it's not that big it's a reasonable size we still love it we have here our sink and the toilet and this bathroom does have a tub shower and a place you can take a shower really nice this room right here is my twins uh bedroom uh it's a reasonable size bedroom mashallah uh, this is for my twins I love that the floor is not carpet. I hate carpet. Even though carpet is really good during like the winter time and stuff, I would rather just put a rug and stuff because if you have a carpet and you have kids, oh my God, I don't know about y'all, but my kids would literally mess that carpet up. This is their closet. So the last room that I'm going to be showing you guys is the room my baby daughter and her sister share. This is their bedroom. They have their uh, fairy lights up. And that's my daughter's bed. She's at school now. And this is where my baby daughter sleeps for now. She has her own closet too. What I love about this house is it has a lot of storage spaces. This is her closet. It's a walk-in closet, alhamdulillah. And over here in the hallway, it's supposed to be like a linen closet and stuff, but who cares? Uh, we store our shoes in here. This is where we put all of our shoes. <laughs> here, this is another storage. See, I love this house. The storage is just mashallah. I use this place for just storing like uh, miscellaneous stuff like my tripod, my vacuum, and my um, flowers and stuff. The ones that I use for decorations. But anyways this is how our house looks like we really really love it alhamdulillah it's in a great neighborhood yeah alhamdulillah uh we love this area it's in a really nice uh neighborhood and um, we get to live here for one year and after one year um uh, they told us we can move to any other place we would like uh if we want to move out of state or if we want to stay here but it looks like we're probably just gonna end up staying here we really love this area alhamdulillah since we moved here we haven't seen any problems um like i was saying the neighbors are really nice the schools are really nice on um, our previous place the school oh my god i just i didn't i didn't like any of those schools over there I was always worried about my kids. I was always worried about my husband that works at night whenever like he coming out of work. It's just, I always prayed, please, Allah, please, um, just get us out of here. We tried to get our own place, but with rent being so expensive and stuff, it was just impossible for us to do it. Out of nowhere, we got the letter that we are qualified for a housing voucher it took us like five years it's been five years uh, since i applied for the housing choice voucher um i even forgot about it but i prayed and prayed and prayed and alhamdulillah um this we got this housing uh choice voucher letter now um 
our plan is to save as much as we can and uh, work as hard as we can and um inshallah to one day to be able to buy our own house um this is just something that we're renting this is not something that's going to be a long term for us inshallah um but if you guys have any other questions about um the housing choice voucher um let me know in the comment section i'll be glad to make a q a uh, video for you guys so if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share my videos with your friends and families i hope that this video helped uh you to understand um or to see what it's like inside section 8 house I do take care of my home like it's my own even though I'm renting this property we we had to go through a lot of background check we had to go through uh, what is that called a, a credit check like you can't just move into the house like uh, the person that you're renting from the house oh my they will do a lot of <laughs> checking uh, your background to see if you pay your rents on time like they check your credit and we have to also get a uh, renter's insurance like they need a proof of that like you can't just say i have one like they need a proof of that and then what is it called the the deposit is really high yep the deposit is high uh, i'm not gonna say how much it is but the deposit is high and this house uh with rent being so expensive nowadays it, it is expensive but we pay our portion and the government they pay their portion so we pay like a thousand something and they pay their own side but inshallah our plan is to one day hopefully uh buy our own property inshallah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my other videos bye